The role of the heat transfer oil circulating pump in the system is very important. In addition to the performance of common pumps, it also has the following characteristics. Function 1. The flow, lift and power of the circulating pump should match the oil consumption and resistance drop requirements of the heating system. In general, the flow of the circulating pump should be 1.1 to 1.15 times the design flow, and the head of the oil pump should be 1.1 to 1.2 times the calculated resistance. Function 2. According to the characteristics of the heat transfer oil heating system, two independent circulating pumps of the same model are generally selected to install two independent circulating pumps, one for the main use and the other for backup, to ensure the normal operation of the heat transfer oil system and prevent the circulation pump from malfunctioning. Effect production can effectively reduce the risk of emergency shutdown. Function 3. The cavitation allowance of the circulating pump should be less than the cavitation allowance of the device of the circulation system, so as to avoid the occurrence of cavitation during the operation of the pump. Function 4. The hard seal of the circulating pump is required to be reliable and to prevent leakage. If any leakage is found, the pump should be stopped immediately for inspection and emergency repairs should be carried out. At the same time, turn on the standby pump to ensure the normal operation of the heat transfer oil system. Function 5. The circulating pump must be adapted to the characteristics of the temperature change of the heat transfer oil. The temperature rise must be gradual. Before high temperature operation, the pump must be preheated by the heat transfer oil that gradually rises in the system. In addition, pay attention to the process of use, and it cannot stop at high temperature pump. When the system stops working, the pump can only be stopped until the temperature of the heat transfer oil drops below 100 degrees Celsius. When the pump is out of service for a long time, the heat transfer oil in the slurry pump should be drained. And it should be checked frequently, and the rotor should be rotated 180 degrees periodically.